Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Have you ever heard of the 10 educational commandments for parents? Well, let's talk to someone who has. Dr. Juan Carlos Arake is the chair of the Latino Educational Attainment for Orange County Business Council. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Now, what are the 10 education commandments for parents? These are messages that we work with parents across Orange County for them to learn how to navigate the school system. We have learned through a lot of research in focus groups with parents that they're not sure what is their role in helping their children to get a better academic achievement. A lot of us take it for granted the way the school system goes around here, especially if we grew up through the system. But if mm. you didn't, there's a lot more to learn than you might realize. That's correct. And about half of the students in Orange County now come from a diverse background. So the parents might not grown up here in the United States like I did. So for us to learn how the school system works takes a little bit of time. So give us a couple of the commandments. One of them is to learn how the grades work, what are the value of each of the grades. And for example, A, a is four points, the F is zero. And for them to be able to do a, a grade point average so they understand how their uh, child is doing in terms of their academics. Mm -hmm. uh, another one that we work closely with is for the parent to understand what is their role uh, in helping their children. For example, provide a space for the students to, to be able to study, to complete homework. If they don't understand how to help them, uh, find help. Go to the local Boys and Girls Club, go to the local uh, Family Resource Center. So that way, these people can help the children complete the homework and support the, the teachers at home. Mm -hmm. Just something as basic as homework is important, and it is best done at the same time every day in a special place. Definitely. Sometimes uh, families live in, in uh, small places with many family members, so it's very difficult for the child to concentrate. So many parents take the children to the library. That's phenomenal. Uh, there's some after-school programs at the school sites Let's promote that. So it's an ability for the parent to, to see what the role is, to be very active, and to uh, help their children in, in a way that is intentional. Yes, because educated children are good for everyone. Now, you have a special event coming up. Yes. Uh, what is the event, and why are you doing it? The event will be on Tuesday, August 5th. It will be at the uh, Monarch Bay uh, Golf. Uh, is a golf tournament, an invitational tournament. Mm -hmm. And this is a partnership with the Orange County Business Council with the UCI uh, Paul Mirage School of Business. Mm -hmm. And uh, the benefit will go to the Latino Educational Attainment and as well as the scholarship fund that the, the UCI uh, Paul Mirage School of Business has. So the idea is to raise funds, to have fun in a beautiful location, Monarch Bay. You can't get any better than that and support uh, workforce development programs like this one. Mm -hmm. So you're working to work closely with the parents in the interest of educating the kids. Exactly. We know by research that there are two factors that really change uh, the child's education. One is the quality of the teacher. And mm -hmm. we have really good teachers in Orange County that put a lot of effort and time in a daily basis. And the other one is how the parents are involved in their children's education. If we have these two elements, most likely the kids will succeed. But when one or the other one is kind of falling apart, then is when we see uh, low performing in schools and, and the schools in trouble. And right now, uh, Orange County has about 100 um, schools that are in this high one, two, and three lowest performing in schools. Mm -hmm. And we try to build this coalition of parents with the 10 educational commandments around those schools. So the parents work with educators in a collaborative form, not a confrontational but collaborating one with the other and to help the child in their studies. There's a lot to know to navigate the system, just the way an, an elementary school works, but also to understand that for a child to go to college, they need to be on the right track by junior high school, and how to fill out a college application, all of that stuff can be a lot. Yeah, I can tell you, my wife teaches uh, elementary school, and she can pinpoint which students already are in trouble and not in that track. So we want to make sure that the students can do well in school. So you want to reach the kids and the parents early. Yes. Great idea. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank and thank you for tuning in. More CNN headline news coming up right after this.